The Yukon Huskies football team returned home to the rent to play host to the SMU Mustangs and their offensive coordinator, Rhett Lashley, who held the same position here at Yukon last year. It was a high-scoring battle from the very start. On the first drive of the game, SMU took over and looked like they were set to roll through UConn's defense after two solid gains. The high-tempo offense converted a big fourth down, but the young Huskies' defense forced a 39-yard field goal. On the ensuing possession, the Huskies' offense couldn't get anything going. SMU's offense didn't let up. The high-tempo offense, led by former UConn offensive coordinator Rhett Lashley, gashed the Huskies' defense to the tune of 82 yards over six plays, capped off by a 39-yard touchdown run by Kamon Freeman, who broke four tackles on his way to the end zone. But the Huskies responded as quarterback David Pindell took over with a big third-down conversion down the seam to Aaron McLean. Then Pindell finished the drive by himself, taking it 30 yards for a touchdown on a play where UConn lined up with just three offensive linemen. It was Pindell's ninth touchdown of the season. Lashley's offense came right back, a 56-yard completion right down the seam from quarterback Ben Hicks to tight end. Ryan Becker set up Freeman for his second rushing touchdown, this one from five yards out. On the ensuing drive, Pindell became the first Husky to rush for 1,000 yards in a season since Lyle McComb in 2011. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing to uh, do something special at this program and be able to, you know, be in a record books and stuff. But the drive stalled as Tarbett missed a long field goal wide right. The Huskies' defense forced a number of third downs but were never able to come up with a stop. The second conversion of the drive was a huge run, which set Lashley's offense up to run one of their signature trick plays for another touchdown to put SMU up 24-7. After allowing scores on four straight drives, the Huskies needed to respond. They did exactly that as Kevin Mensa ripped off a 50-yard run, setting Michael Tarbett up for a 45-yard field goal to cut the SMU lead to 14. Unfortunately for UConn, Lashley was looking for the dagger for his SMU offense as he called a flea flicker that worked to perfection. An unbelievable catch by James Prochet for 46 yards led to a walk-in touchdown for SMU as they went up 31-10. UConn's offense was able to pick up some yards, but SMU stood tall, forcing another Magliozzi punt. After the Huskies' defense finally forced a stop, Pindell led the offense to a chance at a field goal, but they couldn't build any momentum going into the half as Tarbett missed the long kick wide left. After the half, the Huskies came out firing on all cylinders. Mensah led the charge, and Pindell capped it off with a beautiful pitch and catch to Herji Mayala for a touchdown. UConn's next drive mixed nice runs and passes en route to a Pindell to bus connection for six, but the next Mustang drive also resulted in six off a beautiful touchdown pass to the corner of the end zone. As the Huskies put the pressure on, Lashley's offense responded as a huge rush by quarterback Hicks led to another touchdown. And that proved to be the dagger for the Huskies. They dropped this one, 62 to 50. Next week, the Huskies travel to ECU to take on the Pirates. Quarterback David Pendell hopes to continue to put up ridiculous numbers, while the defense will try to not let that happen. From Pratt & Whitney Stadium, I'm Noam Watt. UC TV Sports.